Hi, I'm just going to do a short uh, demonstration of the oscillation feature of the Spina machine. Um, we have this graph here which you can see which the treatment tracks. Um, but in a short moment, when it starts, I'm going to show you the motor behind. So if I press the start button, I now have the press the session stop, which is part of the safety patient would normally press the stop button and we begin and we press start so we've got the belt just connected to uh, to the bed in a fixed position here we've got the target tension and the actual tension and the forces uh, going to start building up this is the sinusoidal waveform it's not a straight line mechanical pull so it's a more natural uh, pull for the body. If we come around here um, into the back of the machine we can see the motor it's very controlled and it's bringing the force on very gradually and in a controlled manner. Um, and if we look at the screen we can see that the actual force being brought on is tracking to within one or two pounds of the target tension. Um, here we've set the high tension at 100 pounds, which is about uh, 45 kilos, which is quite a considerable weight. We're now going into the oscillation, which is the sort of mobilization at the point of maximum distraction. So within the actual um, mechanics, I'm not sure how clear it is, but you can see that it's gradually releasing and bringing the tension back on. So that's hopefully working the soft tissues, creating small pressure differentials. We can adjust the, um, the, the, the degree of oscillation, the frequency, the number of cycles per minute, and the amount of tension as a function of the high hold. So if we come back to the screen, we're now coming to the end of the first minute. We've set this just for a demonstration as a 12 minute um, cycle. And we're going to come back down now to the low tension, which is just above 40 pounds, which is about 20, uh, 20 kilos. So the soft tissues are gonna be on under a constant tension. As we come around here again, we can see the tension being has now come off, that's then held, it doesn't come off suddenly, it's just coming off very gradually. So it's very comfortable for the body and this is one of the key aspects of the treatment, why it's so comfortable for the patient and why when we use considerable forces um, there is no discomfort for the patient which is obviously very important. If we come back to the screen, we're now about to bring the force back on, switch back to the back of the motor and it's not a continuous thing, it's just very controlled, bringing it back up to the high tension. Now we've got the oscillation, and this is, this is a unique feature to the spinal machines. Uh, it's not available on any other, uh, other equipment, and certainly, certainly on no uh, traction machines. Um, and this, this is kind of one of the key factors that we think is uh, helping to contribute to the success of the treatment. So if we just come back around, we can see that. And we have the oscillation and we can see the target tension and the actual tension are bang on. And this tracks and every treatment we are able to see exactly what's uh, happened with the uh, treatment. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea about the oscillation uh, feature. Uh, what might be interesting is just to look at the, this, this force and this control, because it's all one thing to see it on a screen and a motor, but in the context of real um, pulling force, I'd just like to show you uh, one, uh, one thing. So we're talking about the amount of force that we apply with the um, spine and the IDD therapy. The tension that we use is um, done as a function of patient's body weight, starting at half their body weight minus 15 to 20 pounds, which is half their body weight, minus about 10, 15 kilos. The forces are progressively built up to half body weight plus 
10 or 15 pounds, which is sort of half body weight plus sort of five to 10 kilos. Now in my case, I weigh about 90 kilos. So half my body weight is about 45 kilos. And if we were coming under that, say to 40 kilos, we'd be applying a distraction force at 40 kilos. Now just to sort of put that into context when we're pulling here, patient very comfortable are we able to actually distract and control that oscillation manually and a simple answer is no um, and just to sort of give you an idea this is a, obviously a weight stack um, we've put it up onto 40 kilos and we see the machine is pulling in a horizontal longitudinal capacity uh, just to sort of illustrate what that is um, I haven't been working out very much, but um, if I pull this down and I've got to hold this, okay, it's not the same position, then I'm going to apply that controlled oscillation. Well, if I was doing this in a horizontal plane, it would still be very difficult. Then I'm going to release it, I'm going to try and hold that for one minute, and then bring that force back on again and oscillate is extremely difficult and if we're thinking that we're going to have 13 full cycles 13 one minute cycles where at the maximum distraction with that control oscillation where the patient is extremely comfortable when he actually going to sleep then that's the significance <laughs> of the force so uh, anyway a simple demonstration but I hope that gives you an idea